On the 1st of December 2019, Czech Toll launched a new electronic toll system in the Czech Republic. Unlike previous years, when the toll was measured via toll gates, the new system operates via satellite technology. Let's take a look at how the whole system works and how the toll is collected. In the Czech Republic, motorways and first category roads are subject to charges. These charges are governed by the current decree. Vehicles over 3.5 tonnes must pay tolls. Each vehicle must be equipped with an onboard unit. This unit records the vehicle's passage through detection zones on toll roads. Carriers are then charged based on data received from the onboard unit. The onboard unit communicates with control gantries, which are currently only used for verification purposes. Carriers can get the onboard unit from over 220 points of sale in the Czech Republic or by registering online. The amount of toll is calculated according to the vehicle category, number of axles, emission class and the number of kilometres driven. We'll explain the whole system in more detail with our driver Helmut's specific route. Helmut is driving cargo from Germany to a warehouse near Prague. His route begins at an entry point to the Czech Republic, the Rosvadov border crossing. Helmut doesn't have a new onboard unit yet, so he must register in the system. To do this, he stops at the nearest point of sale just across the border. He registers his vehicle and receives an onboard unit after paying a deposit. He simply installs the unit in his vehicle and activates it. The onboard unit now indicates green. Data about Helmut's vehicle is stored in the system and our Helmut can now continue with his journey. Our task is to collect toll, so we need to calculate it accurately. According to the vehicle's details in the system, we know the correct tariff band, so we only need to calculate the distance travelled on the toll roads. And that's why the toll road network has been divided into toll sections, always from junction to junction. The toll calculation is based on these toll sections being detected. The resulting distance travelled is based on the total length of all detected toll sections according to individual road categories. Each toll section has its own detection zone. Each detection zone has its position, geometry, detection direction and a unique identifier. This data is stored in the onboard unit. Rather than a conventional map, the onboard unit contains a map of detection zones, known as a geomodel. The onboard unit reliably identifies whether a vehicle is within a detection zone by comparing its position with the stored geomodel. The onboard unit uses three technologies. GNSS for precise positioning, DSRC for control via gantries and GSM for data transmission via a mobile operator network. The onboard unit determines its position every second and compares this with the geomodel. When the unit identifies that it's in a detection zone, the process of recognising a toll section begins. This process determines if the section is travelled in a defined direction and whether the positional data is of good quality. The onboard unit then stores this information as an electronic record containing a detection zone identifier, onboard unit serial number, and a specific time. This record is then sent to the system, where it's paired with stored information about the vehicle and the toll sections. The value of the toll is then calculated. For example, Helmut, who's just approaching Beron, has driven 128 kilometers. The amount of toll is currently 1,277 crowns, and the onboard unit has detected 19 toll sections. Control gantries verify that everything is correct for the toll calculation. The control gantry analyzes whether a vehicle 3.5 tons or above is approaching. For vehicles up to 3.5 tons, only a timestamp of the vehicle's passage is recorded. No further analysis, photos or search for license plate details is required. If a gantry identifies a vehicle over 3.5 tons, a complete analysis is initiated. The gantry takes photos front and side view of the vehicle. From the front, the OCR technology recognises the licence plate number and vehicle country code. The gantry measures the vehicle's dimensions, the number of axles, establishes communication with the onboard unit and sends this detected data to the supervisory office for additional checks. Operators then evaluate whether everything is in order. If not, 
The system sends toll incident information to a Customs Administration mobile enforcement unit, which identifies, stops and inspects the vehicle. However, Helmut has everything in good order and is smoothly approaching his destination. He passes through the last detection zone and leaves the toll section. Helmut passed through 24 toll sections totaling 151 kilometers between Rosvadov and Prague. The total toll value is 1,500 crowns. As of the 1st of January 2020, additional toll sections were added to the existing network, including first category roads. These sections now total over 2,400 kilometers. The toll system is also prepared for EETS, the European Electronic Toll Service, as well as communication with Galileo. After 13 years, Czech Toll replaced Capture's microwave technology in the Czech Republic. As of the 1st of December 2019, the Czech Republic became the first country to perform the generational replacement of its toll system. This has enabled the operating cost of collecting tolls from lorries to fall from an annual 1.5 billion crowns to just a third of that amount.